As Americans, we've come to expect a lot. Big houses, changing fashions, the latest gadgets, disposable containers, and the list goes on. Buy it, use it, throw it away, and get something new. It's simple, convenient, and fun. Some of this disposable culture is the result of innovation. We are constantly being offered better, smaller, faster, and more convenient products. And some of it is by design. Companies make products that are designed to last only a short time. After that, we toss them and they get to sell us a new one. Then there are fashion trends, where styles change and make old stuff so yesterday. And, well, we are convinced that we need the latest styles to fit in, right? Advertising helps fuel this supercharged engine of consumption. We're bombarded with up to 3,000 advertising messages every day. In fact, today we see more advertising in one year than Americans saw in a lifetime only 50 years ago. So what's the problem? We only have one planet, and we are making a mess of it. The products we buy don't just magically appear in stores. Everything we buy requires the use of natural resources, like plants, metals, and oil, things that come from the earth. The raw materials are mined, cut, or taken from nature in some way. Trucks, rail cars, boats, and planes take these raw materials to facilities where workers use energy and additional resources to clean and process them, mix them together with other materials and chemicals, then shape, heat, cool, assemble, and put them into eye-catching packaging. Finally, it's shipped again to places where we can buy it. And what happens to it when we're done with it? It doesn't just disappear. Except for what's recycled, what we throw out ends up in a landfill to be buried. So, what's the problem? If everyone used up resources at our pace, we'd require three to five planets to provide the natural resources needed to keep us going. Americans buy and consume like no other people on Earth, and we consume twice as much today than we did just 50 years ago. So what can you do about it? You can do a lot. Businesses want your dollars. They'll do whatever it takes to get them. So your buying decisions tell businesses what you think and what to make. If you buy only products produced in an environmentally friendly way, guess what? More companies will start producing environmentally friendly products. It's already working. People are buying recycled paper products. This demand for recycled paper makes it economically feasible to have curbside recycling programs. Today, about half of all paper is recycled, which saves trees, water, and energy, and keeps millions of tons of a reusable resource out of our landfills. We can also buy smarter. That means buying higher quality products that will last longer, and repairing the products you have instead of sending them to the landfill. You can even shop for used stuff instead of brand new. Another big thing you can do is reduce your consumption, which is really just another kind of buying decision. You're deciding not to buy at all. If enough people say no to buying things they really don't need, it reduces demand, which reduces the use of energy and resources. And you should, for sure, continue to recycle, recycle, recycle. Recycling reduces the resources and the energy needed to make something from scratch. Plus, it saves landfill space, so you can do a lot. Cut back. Don't buy what you don't need. That's the biggest thing. Buy smart. Buy quality stuff that will last longer. Or even buy used things. And remember to buy green. Creating demand for things made with recycled materials or things that are energy efficient encourages the production and development of more of those types of products. Most of all, think. Think about how that shiny new thing at the store impacts the environment and ask yourself, is it really worth the total cost?